Hello world, or welcome to the channel. I'm Sourcecoot, and today we're going to have a look at how you can create animations inside A-Frame. So, here we go. Let's start by having a look at the little scene I created. It's a beachside view, um, looking out at the sea. And there are some buildings here and a road. And I would like to animate a car driving along the road and just looping that so we have something going on inside the scene. So let's start working on that. I'm switching over to VS Code to the scene and I'm going to add the car. I'm going to start by creating a new entity element and specifying an object model. And this we need to give the obj file, which is car obj in this case. Now often these obj models come with their own material files. In this case, I have the material files uh, separated. So we need to um, specify those. Material. Wait. And what I like to do is create these as assets. So it's easy to, uh, to reuse those. If I can type these assets, ah, that's why I'm gonna type over here. We should have some IntelliSense here on the files. Since now we're loading an image file, we get IntelliSense. I think it's called vehicle something, yes. Now we need to give this an ID of car, Let's correctly close this. And now we can say in here, from the source found car to specify the ID we want to use. And now we have a car on the scene. Now I know this car will be inside the buildings. So I'm gonna give it a new position. And I'm going to place this at zero in the X. So it's right in front of me. The road is slightly lower than the sidewalk. So we're going to lower the car uh, 20 centimeters and I'm going to move the car to minus 14. So it's really right inside uh, in front of your face. Let's check this out inside the scene. That's behind me and there it is. Now it's rotating in the wrong way. So that's something we need to change. And then we can start animating this. So I'm going to give this a rotation of zero. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis and zero on Z. So let's see. This looks if it's on the road now. Yes. So this is where the car should drive. And now we can add an animation to go with, to have it go from left to right. There are multiple ways of doing animations. The simplest way is just adding an animation um, attribute. And you can name these. So this works by adding two underscores and then giving this animation a name. So we call this drive. And now we can specify um, all kinds of properties about the animation. So I want to give this a duration of five seconds. So it will get, take the car five seconds to drive from one side of the road to the other side. I'm going to uh, need to specify um, where I want to start this animation. Now you can give a complete position of the car. So for example, if I do 30, which is the start of the road, I need to have this the 20 centimeters lower than uh, the sidewalk at Z position 14. Then we need to specify where we want to animate this to. In this case, I'm going to specify minus 30. That's the other side of the road. Again, we don't want to move it, uh, have it move on the Y axis. And I'm going to not move it on the Z axis. We can loop the animation by specifying a loop. So if you want to have this loop, it, Twice, you add two. If you do minus one, it will loop indef indefinitely. Then we need to specify uh, which property we want to animate. And in this case, it's the position. Now, it's really cool that you can just use the A-frame way of specifying the position. Let's see if this works. There it is. It is driving along the road. Now, you might notice that it's starting really slowly and then making up more speed. Yeah, it's not really what I want. I just want to have it like in a linear motion. 
So we need to specify an easing function as well. In this case, linear. And now when we re refresh, it should drive in the linear motion. Take five seconds to go from one side to the other side. And it just goes indefinitely. So now the scene already starts to come a little bit more alive. But I want to add a boat in the water as well. Let's head over to VS Code again. And let's start adding another A entity with an OBJ model, which we give the file boat OBJ. The material for this object is already in the scene. It's the simple town material. We need to give the boat a position. And this boat is going to be out in the ocean. I'm going to place it right in front of me, but slightly lower than the sidewalks and out 48 meters from the center of the scene. And I'm going to give the boat a rotation as well to make it a bit more interesting. 45 degrees around the Y axis. Now to make it a bit easier to reference this object, I'm going to give it an ID as well. ID boat. So let's see if we have a boat in the scene now. Let's refresh. And there it is. Now, having this boat floating there, static, isn't very interesting. It would be nice if we can have it float up and down. Now the problem is, we can only animate one property. We can animate it up. Let's copy this one. Um... But then we need to animate it down as well. So let's first add the up. Let's do it in two seconds. Um, and let's just not do the whole position, but only the Y axis in this case. So we're going from uh, minus four and a half to four. Minus four. And we're going to not do the position property, but every um, model has also an object 3D property which also has a position and that's the actual position we're going to animate in the y direction so let's check if this works boat is starting to float up yes now it's floating up but then it drops down we need to float it down again now we don't want to have a linear animation i want to have it more like in a sine wave um, motion i'm going to change the easing to in, out, sign, which will ramp up and then slow down, and that will make it more like it's floating on water. And we're going to add a second animation here. Let's remove this. There. And this is not okay. Almost. That's it. Now we need to float it down again down from four to minus four and a half same property same everything now i think it will only pick the last animation yes yeah, so now it's floating down but we want to have these animations flowing in sequence now to do that we need to add another component there is a timeline component so i'm going to add a script file let's do it a script file with a source. Let me grab the URL. I'm going to type it. Probably going to do that wrong anyway. But it's the animation timeline component. I will also mention the project um, in the details below the video. Now we need to give this a timeline we can animate. We're going to add that to the assets. Give this a timeline. And I want give us an ID as well so we can refer to it. Let's call this boat time line. And in here we're going to add the animations we want on the timeline to play in sequence. So we do an A timeline animation. In here we have a select 
attribute which we can use to query stuff in the scene. In this case, I want to have something with the ID boat. Uh, but if we have the same name animation um, or if we use a mixin, which we might go into in a later video, um, which will define some reusable stuff inside your, your scene, um, then we can have we can trigger multiple different animations on different objects at the same time. In this case, we're going to refer to the boat only. And then we need to specify which animation we want to run. So let's take up first. And we only need to give it the name of the animation. So that's the last part. And when this is done, we're going to do the down animation. The last thing we need to do to get this to work is go into the scene and specify which animation timeline we want to play in the scene. So there's an animation timeline property. We can give this a name as well. Let's just call it one. And in here, we need to specify which timeline we want to play, which is uh, boat timeline. And let's loop this. So let's set loop to true. I think this should be it. Let's try it out. The boat goes up. And the boat goes down. Yes. So this is way more interesting than just having the boat lying out there. There is one more thing I like to do. I want to have this boat go from left to right as well. The same motion. Now we can do multiple animations at the same time. So let's um, copy these two animations. Let's call this one a left. Let's do right. Now, instead of animating the position, we're going to animate the rotation. And we're going to do the Z rotation. We're going to animate this from, say, minus 5 to 5. So it's going from left all the way to the right. Just not too much, just a little bit. Minus 5 to 5 and from 5 to minus 5. Now, when we would add these two, just right up here, left, right. In this case, if we don't do anything, the boat will have four animations. It's up, it's down, one side to the other side, and then up and down, going to one side, going to the other side. This is not exactly what we want. We want to have it float left and right and up and down at the same time. There's a special um, attribute for this, which is a timeline group. So we can group these. So if we add a timeline group, and we would group two of these, let's say up and left. And now we add another timeline group. For the other two. So now we go up and left at the same time and down and right at the same time. Refresh the scene and see if it works. So we get, go up. It's not working. We did something wrong. Oh, yeah. We need to make this an A timeline group. Let's check. Works. We go up and we go down. Not entirely what, what both should look like. Um, but it's doing two animations at the same time. Now we can also uh, mix these up a little bit to make it interesting. So let's do up and left, then right, then down, and left again, and then right again. So now the boat would stay up, go back to the other side, go down, and that way it, it might be a little bit more interesting. So it goes up, it swings back, goes down, swings back. So now the up and down motion is slower than the right and left motion. And that's basically it. There are two easy ways of creating animations in A-Frame. Now there are more advanced ways. You can handle events or go with code, write code to create animations. Uh, but that's something for a later video. 
If you have created something with A-Frame, please let me know in the comments so I can check it out. If you have ideas, also leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and catch me over on Twitch on Mondays and Thursdays, 9am um, Central European time. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.